Howdy, everybody, and welcome back to Nelson Creek. I'm Dave, your host for the show, and uh, welcome you all back, including some of our new subscribers to the channel, which means a heck of a lot to us. So please spread the word and let your friends and family know about it if you're interested in this sort of thing. I'm coming to you from the barn today, of all places. It is super windy out, and the wind chill with a nice 40 degree temperature is about 19 above zero today. So not a lot's been going on out here at the farm, but I'm going to show you around a little bit what has been going on. Uh, I've been trying to stay out of the weather, trying not to catch a cold, because I don't want to have somebody going, oh, COVID! <laughs> so anyway, stay tuned. Heck, we might even see some of the hopper finger. <laughs> Now, in case you're new to the channel and you don't get the happy finger thing, <laughs> it's something I got started for the grandkids a long time ago when I would point at something. Uh, you would see my happy finger pointing at, oh, look, farm all. <laughs> There's the happy finger. So, yeah, happy finger, that's what that's about. In case you were ever wondering. Marcus, one of our new subscribers, has asked a question about whatever has happened to the D14, Alice Chalmers tractor that we have here on the farm. Well, it is still sitting here. We haven't done a lot to it. Uh, it does have new rubber. I so lost the half a finger. It does have the new front rubber on it. It does need new rear rubber yet. Uh, in fact, I'm surprised this tire is still holding air. Uh, yeah, I need a right rear fender for this thing. This just looks nasty. I suppose I could heat it up with a torch and beat it back with a big hammer and it might be all right. But I'd rather see if I can find a good one. Anyway, update on the D14. Well, nothing has been going on with it. Unfortunately, this thing has been put on the back burner. Why? Well, the reason why the 14 has been put on the back burner is we have to get the Ford 850 tractor put back together and running so we can get it out of the shop. Uh, it's on rubber now. If you've watched some of the later videos that we've just had, you've seen me put it on rubber, and it's ready to roll. Uh, got to put the fuel tank back on it and a few other little things. It does run. Uh, we've gotten some parts for it, but quite honestly, I have... Had to change gears on what we're doing here at the farm. Now what I mean by changing gears here at the farm, as many of you know, nothing is ever written in stone when it comes to something going on or taking place at the farm. There's always something that changes your game plan. So no matter how well you plan ahead, something happens, you have to deal with it and roll with that particular punch as it comes. So what is going on and why have we stopped on the D14 and we're concentrating on the Ford 850? Well, the 850, like I said, has to get out of the shop so we can get something else to work on in there. We had a big wind blow here a while back and if you recall, our outhouse here at the farm, it's a hundred year old two-holer, got blown over and damaged. Okay, well that doesn't take real priority to farming, but it is in what we call our show area. You will have to pardon the wind noise and any shaking and whatnot. It is very cold out here despite the uh, blue skies and the sun being out. There is the happy finger pointing at our Nelson Creek sign right there and the creeks behind it. Anyway, this is the show area and there is right there is the wreck of the old two hole outhouse um, it's been sitting right there ever since the wind knocked it over I can't have that there uh, because this area right here is going to be where we host all of our flea market arts and craft shows weddings receptions family gatherings that sort of thing uh, so yeah that 
right there needs to get out of there. So that's why it's been bumped up to a front burner status right now. Now because the outhouse is in the show area and because of its fragile state, it's going to collapse when we put it back together. Now my family, my kids in particular, would probably just say, oh, I'll just cut it up for firewood and be done with it. Well, that's a part of the heritage of this farm. And Nelson Creek Farm is all about the heritage and what's happened here over the last hundred years since the great-grandparents pulled it out of sagebrush. Now, because we try to maintain a little bit of the historical nature of the farm and being a family-owned farm, really since its inception, which was over, what, a hundred and some years ago, uh, we try to maintain some of the historical value of the farm, not that we're going to turn it into a museum or anything, although that would be nice when I pass. Um, I don't know that my kids would care to try to carry on and make it a viable agricultural farm on what's left of it uh, due to deaths in the family and whatever. The farm is down in acreage, so it's not a very large farm anymore. But it is still owned by members of the same family that originally settled here in the early 1900s. Like this old John Deere B sitting right here. This tractor happens to belong to my son. Yeah, there's a smiley face on the front of it. Yours truly did that. There's the happy finger pointing at it. Anyway, um, yeah, that's part of the reason why. Uh, that and we have another piece of equipment that's coming and we're looking at getting started with a hay baling operation this year and quite honestly unless we get one of those European little balers from Italy um, we need a tractor with a little bit more grunt to it to run a hay baler so we're looking at that little project coming up yet this summer but the main thing is why the D14 is taking a back seat right now is we're looking at diversifying the income sources for the farm, meaning we're going to get income or try to get income for the farm from different venues and activities here at the farm. And keeping that in mind, here's a few shots of some of our arts and crafts and flea market shows that we've had in the past. Now the reason why I bring this up now is because three months from yesterday, the 27th of February, we are going to be holding yet another flea market and arts and crafts show here at the farm. Now this diversification is called for here at the farm because quite honestly it isn't large enough for me to be farming it full time to be making an income to pay for the property tax, canal water bills, that sort of thing. So we need to have a little extra come in here and there from different venues and activities that we have. So we are going to be opening up for weddings, uh, family reunions, uh, photo shoots with photographers. We've already had a couple of those take place uh, from three different photographers last year, that sort of thing. So we're going to be open for that. But because I am working on that, there's a lot of other things that's got to go on besides working on the D14 and that Ford 850 and the outhouse. One of the other things we're going to have is a information board here at the farm. Now it will have a picture on one side with a you are here thing and a layout general not to scale kind of a thing of where things are at the farm. Uh, we will have information boards put around the different structures at the farm explaining what they are, what they're doing, and we even have some open. And uh, also on that information board will be a uh, nice sized deal that I'm going to have professionally printed by a local sign company telling what the goals and ambitions and why we're doing what we do here at the farm so everybody knows. And then we'll also have a uh, board with those little push-in letters uh, for upcoming events here at the farm. Plus, we're also looking at getting a new office uh, set up here at the farm, which we need to have for keeping records of what we're doing, uh, the accounts and that sort of thing besides in the house. We've got to do a little bit of a separation there. So if you're following on the Facebook group, 
be forewarned, that may disappear yet. Uh, we're looking at doing a LLC thing here for the farm, and I need to do a separation of the farm and myself. So the group is considered, I think, too close. So yeah, the group may go away. So if you want to keep up with what's going on the farm and you have Facebook, check out the Nelson Crick page. Not the group, but the Nelson Crick Farm page on Facebook. Either that or just follow along here on YouTube because we're going to keep you updated right here. So for our new channel subscriber, Marcus, don't worry. The D14 is tucked away nice and safe and sound here in the old barn for right now. And it is on a front burner. It's not been pushed off really to a back burner. It is on our top list of things to do. But we've got a lot of stuff coming up that we do need to do to start making a little bit of profit here on the farm. And the 14 right now isn't quite there on what we need to have happen here. So stay tuned though, because you will see more of that tractor in upcoming videos. I'm back in for the day now, and uh, I'm going to uh, edit this video and get it uploaded and out to you today. Thank you again for watching. Thank you to our new subscribers. And as always, don't forget to tell your friends and family and whoever about this video, if this is something that you or they may enjoy, let them know. And as always, don't forget, right down there, it, it's right there, is that little red thing that says subscribe on it. Click on that with your mouse. Click on the little bell icon right next to it. Click on the word all that pops up. That way you can get notified every time there's a new one of these videos out. And as always, y'all have a great day and thank you for watching.